Hi right, YouTubers, we're back. In this episode, we're gonna finally install the oil pan and I'm gonna put the new hardware that I broke in the previous video. So I put the engine on this tilt right now so you guys can see it much better. Okay, so I got uh, new intake pipe hardware, you got the oil pan gasket, you got the oil pan bolts, you got the oil pan over there. So we're gonna install these three bolts right here. Got three new bolts right here. All right, so we're gonna be using four Newton meters, 100 degrees. So I got my quarter inch torque wrench set on four Newton meters. See, that time it clicked right there. So that was four Newton meters. Now it's time to do 100 degrees. We got the torque wrench set on 100 degrees. So if I start at 12 o'clock, we know 90s at three o'clock. So about four o'clock, is gonna be 100 degrees, slightly after three. See, I find it that this torque wrench can't do that low of a value so I'm not gonna trust the judgment of the angle meter on this torque wrench for these small bolts I'm gonna rely on my my eyesight on the angle okay guys so I'm redoing these bolts right here because the bolts to the bed plate because I don't trust the torque wrench um, that's a 3h drive and it seems though when I start doing the angle it actually twists the bolt a lot before it even starts counting any degrees so I feel like that 3H drive is too powerful to handle such a small torque spec so I'm gonna eyeball these uh, torque specs on these small bolts so right now I got brand new hardware in the bed plate and I'm gonna do I'm gonna follow these bolts right here which are the M6 by 16, that's the shorter bolts. Um, matter of fact, I'll give you an example. This bolt right here, M6 by 16. I'm gonna do four Newton meters and then I'm gonna eyeball 45 degrees, which is half of 90 degrees. Four, 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 four. Now I'm gonna do 45 degrees. So if I start at 12 o'clock, I should be at two o'clock, halfway between three o'clock and 12 o'clock. So I try to line it up as best I could. These are not super critical, but I'm gonna try my best to be as accurate as possible. Okay, so that's about 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go 45 degrees. So like right there, I believe it's halfway. So that looks like it's 45. I'm gonna go ahead and replace um, these two bolts over here as well because I don't trust that torque. Yeah, 
It's going to run this down barely because it's uh, four newton meters. So we're going to do it like that. Take this one out. Make sure you discard the old hardware. So it's my first time doing it. So you guys learn from my mistakes. If you want, you could get an angle meter that's more accurate than the one that I have. Alright, so now I'm switching over to the four Newtons. It's four. So it says 45 degrees. So remember, halfway between. 90 so if you look at it at 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock you should be at 2 o'clock okay the m8s were uh 10 newton meters 90 and then there was a uh, 10 newton meters 180 degrees that's a very small amount and i don't trust the snap on so i'm debating if i should do them over longest bolt came from the back discard drop that down in there I'm gonna set this to 10 10. I'm going to remove the rest. Now that's 10. So I'm gonna put the snap on in there because I don't remember exactly if it started counting right away. So let me just double check. I'm gonna use the smaller boat because I do have extra ones. So if I do mess it up, I'll do it the manual way. Okay, the M8s, which are the oil pump bolts. Um, the shorter ones are 90 degrees. And the long one is 180 degrees. So if this angle meter doesn't start counting right away, I'm going to do it by eyesight. Okay, it did start counting right away, so we should be good. The target is 90. We want to do one smooth, continuous motion until it beeps. So that was good. And do the lower one, which is also 90. As you approach your target, you want to slow down because you don't want to over tighten these, especially with the oil pump, because that sprocket is putting pressure on it.
Okay, now we gotta dial in 180 degrees for the long bolt, which is on the top. I'm double checking my torque specs because I don't wanna make a mistake like before. Okay, so, yep, M8 by 123 is gonna be 10 newton meters, 180. So let's put this on 180 degrees. All right, we're on 180. We're gonna do the top one. So I should end up on the other side. And it started counting right away, so that's a good sign. So one smooth, continuous motion. Seventy-five. You just hit ninety. One ten. One thirty. You want to slow down as you approach your target. One fifty. Approaching the target, we are 170. There it is. First of all, you want to clean the mating surfaces um, on the block itself and on the oil pan. I already kind of pre-did that, so I'm just going to give it a quick pass down with a with a lint-free uh, rag. Pretty much it could go on one way, can't really mix it up. If you look carefully, you see these two half circles that goes towards the, the rear of the motor. Like that. Um, there's no need to put any silicone, any type of sealant. This is a self-sealing gasket. All right, so you can see I got the oil pan pretty darn clean and I left it upside down so that way no dust or lint could get inside. But before I put it on, I'm gonna give it one last spray down. Yeah, pretty clean, nothing really coming out. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, the pan has a big, a big, like almost like a swimming pool. This would be considered the deep end. You're gonna put that side over the sump pickup. For this, I'm going to rotate the motor standing up. It'll be a lot easier to work on. Or I could just catch two bolts that way so you guys can see it. All right, so I got the hardware here. It, uh, BMW sells it as a kit because anytime you change the oil pan gasket, you have to replace all the hardware. Now there are some that are longer, for the most part most of them are short, but if you see towards the flywheel side of things, there are much deeper holes that's going to use the longer bolts. And you see from the factory they pre-installed they pre -installed some uh, thread locker on there. So I'm going to start off with the short guys. Let's make sure there's only two different lengths. So far I got all long ones the same size. The rest of these guys look the same. You guys want to see the hardware? Right, 
so I'm going to grab a corner with the oil pan gasket. I'm going to bolt through the hole and try to catch the opposite corner. Shit, give me a hand with that. Need a hand with this one. Put that bolt through the hole. line up this corner of the gasket. And screw them in hand tight. Just to get it started. Make sure you catch every single bolt before you start tightening this thing. That that ensure the gasket is aligned properly. So I only get one chance at this, so <laughs> otherwise I'm going to have to wait till BMW opens again tomorrow, because today is Sunday. So I have the remainder of the hardware in my hand, and these are all much longer. So I'm just going to double check them that they're all the same length. So far, nope, look, we got two different lengths on the longer bolts. So we're going to we're going to separate them right now. So we have seven really long ones and then we have three shorter ones. So let's take a look a closer look at the bell housing area. If you look here the height of this area is much longer than this area. I don't know why they gave me uh, seven extra. I only seen two. So I'm going to drop the two longest ones in here. That looks like a good fit. And then three shorter ones over here. Now I have four extra longer ones. I'm not quite sure if they would give extra or these need to go somewhere else. But as of right now, I don't see any place where I need to put more bolts. Okay, YouTubers, uh, let me get the camera angle up a little higher for you guys. So you guys can see me. So for this next step, I'm going to use a Sharpie and a torque wrench. Um, like I showed you before, there are three different lengths holding this oil pump to the engine block. So it says here, ASA screw oil sump aluminum to crankcase lower half. Aluminum screw bolts are permitted with and without color coding blue. It says M8 by 26 and is 8 newton eight newton meters to 60 degrees. Then you have the two other sizes, M8 by 112, which is the longest, and you have M8 by 92, which is the medium. So all the long hardware gets eight newton meters of 180 degrees. So when you're tightening any sort of valve cover, oil pan gasket, or elongated gasket, you wanna start from the center and work your way out. So because I'm dealing with the center right now, which is all very short bolts, I'm gonna refer to M8 by 26, which is eight Newton meters. I'm not gonna yield anything. I'm just gonna torque everything first. So eight Newton meters, okay. And then the long bolts are eight Newton meters as well. So I'm gonna run through everything, do eight Newton meters, 
And then when I start yielding the bolts, this is when I'm gonna apply my black Sharpie. So I'm gonna be using the E12 uh, inverted torque. I'm gonna run everything out, run everything down gently just for speed but you don't want the gun to click. You barely just want the bolt to meet the mating surface. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust this process, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. Run eight. I'm gonna start from the center. I'm gonna judge Maybe this point is the center. So I'm going to start with this guy down here. Just run it down. I'm not going to torque it yet. I'm just running it down. Uh, boy, do me a favor. Just ease the oil pan upwards a little bit. So you just want to go in a crisscross pattern. That way you ensure the gasket is spreading out evenly. Right now I'm not even hitting the eight newton meter target right now. I'm just bringing the bolts close. And then I'll, I'll probably end up doing three passes. First pass, bring them close. Second pass, bring them at eight newton meters. And then on the third pass, we're gonna yield them and then use our Sharpie. Okay, so all the bolts are snugged. And I know I said I'm going to mark it when I yield it, but to save myself from driving crazy, I'm going to put a dot once I torque it to the Newton meter, and then when I yield it, I'm going to put a line. That way I can ensure I didn't miss any hardware. So starting off with the center again, we're going to go to 8 Newton meters. Double check the torque wrench, so an 8, make sure it's locked in, smooth, single motion. That's eight. We're gonna put a dot right there. I'm gonna continue this until you covered all the hardware. So now the next step is to yield the bolts. Because we are starting with the center, we're going to use M8 by 26. It says 60 degrees. So I'm going to use a snap-on. If it does not start counting right away, I'm not going to use that to yield the bolts. I'm going to use my clock judgment. This clock judgment. <laughs> Okay, we're on 60. I just want to show you guys the paperwork here. So this is the new TIS info. And you see the title is 1113 Oil Sump Tightening Torx. And right now we're using the ASA screw M8 by 26. So I got my wrench on 60 degrees. And if it doesn't start counting right away, I'm not going to re rely on the snap-on. So how can you judge 60 degrees? So if we know 45 degrees is halfway between 90, which is from 12 o'clock, I would call 45, 2 o'clock. So 60 degrees is gonna be a little, a little past 2 o'clock. So if you was to make a mark between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock, it would be the halfway point. All right, let's see if it starts counting right away. Ready? I just found. Yep, and it started counting right away, so we're good. We could use the snap on. 16 degrees, 27, 30. As we approach the target, you're gonna slow down. Beep. 
60. Now I'm gonna color in the head of this bolt so I know for sure this one is done. We do not need to re-yield that bolt or else you will screw it up. Let's move on. I know it's working, we can move a little faster. Halfway, 40, approaching the target, slow down. Color in the head of the bolt right away, so you don't get confused. Okay guys, that was the last of the bolts. The oil pan is officially been sealed. So I'm gonna give a tight zoom and show you how I marked them with the Sharpie so you guys can okay do the same. Okay guys, now you like. can see on the outer surface of the bolt, I marked it when I did the initial torque spec. And then when I yielded them, I colored in the top of the hardware. So you guys see? It's a little tricky to see on the camera with the glare, but you guys get the idea. Special guest. Stay tuned for the next episode on Blueprint Auto Services. Turbos are going in.